Couple for Christ here, checking in, Brother G. I want to just tell you guys what you're looking at right here. You're looking at the burnings of a cursed object, all right? You guys got to take this stuff seriously. I just had two 20-year-old boys come to my door calling themselves elders from the Mormon church, sent on an assignment from the kingdom of darkness. And what you're looking at is the card they handed to me. I very easily could have rejected it, but I only accepted it to show the person that they said they came to look for. And I'm going to leave it at that. But what the significance of this is, is it was ripped up, it was burnt, and it would not burn, okay? It would not burn. I put it on a brick to douse it with gasoline five or six times. This is one card, and it's still not fully burned, all right? So we're going to continue our prayers and rejection and everything of this false demonic ministry of Mormonism. And I just want to show you guys this is real. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right. See you later. Regarding that cursed object that I took from the Mormon church, okay, that thing had so many vexes and spells cast into it. Heavy magic. If I tell you guys that I literally burned it 20 times, when I took the video of it, that was after five or six burnings, dousing it with gasoline. The plumes of black smoke that were coming off of it were ridiculous. I've never seen anything like this in my life. This was a single business card. It just goes to show the amount of magic and sorcery that is in this world, that people that like to use the name of Jesus do your research into the Mormon church. Do your research into it. This racist, satanic, disgusting, vile, vile doctrine of devils. And they're very wealthy. They are very, very, very wealthy. And they got CIA level maneuvers on how they do things, okay? Do not take things lightly. Cursed objects are a real thing. The Word of God says, how can two walk together, hand in hand, unless they agree, all right? Be very careful who you come into agreement with. Don't do things just to try to be nice or politically correct, okay? I made a mistake by accepting that card, and I knew it, but I had to show it to somebody, okay? And the amount of heavy spirit that I felt as I brought it into my home, and disgusted with my wife about what had just happened, okay? The Lord told me immediately, y'all gotta burn this thing. You gotta get into spiritual warfare, you gotta cast these devils out, you gotta take back the territory that these little devils came in, okay? Because principalities are real. Powers and wickedness in this world, spiritual wickedness in high places, is a very real thing. Know who you are in Christ, repent when you make a mistake, and get back up, and keep fighting. In Jesus' name, salute.